Abcov Australia Limited is launching a proven, safe and environmentally sound technology that breaks down harmful asbestos into useful byproducts in 30 minutes. The Abcov process uh, provides an opportunity to address what is um, a huge market. Uh, for many, many years uh, we've been utilising products that contain asbestos fibres for a variety of, uh, of uses. The damaging properties of uh, asbestos to health uh, were not known. Abcov Australia Limited has an exclusive licence to utilise the Abcov method for asbestos destruction in Australia initially and 18 months later in approximately 95 other countries. The only non-thermal chemical process in the market today. The technology known as the Abcov method is a cost-effective process that effectively destroys all forms of asbestos in some instances within 30 minutes completely and permanently removing all toxic asbestos fibres, resulting in an inert and safe material. This unique process ensures that all by-product materials can be recycled and applied in other commercial uses, providing a safe and environmentally friendly outcome. Because the process does not involve heat or electricity, the Abcov process does not create harmful emissions and the plants are inexpensive to run. The Abcov process is simple, fast and effective. In the first stage, asbestos material is fed into a large shredder in a vacuum controlled environment where it is progressively reduced in size until it is reduced to small granules. It is then mixed with the patented Abcov method involving the application of a special chemical mixture that breaks down the asbestos particles into a sandy byproduct that can be used to make cement. The patented chemical mixture used in the process is recycled and reused. The current practice in Australia is to wrap asbestos waste in plastic and bury the material in designated landfill sites. This creates toxic waste sites and further problems in the future, as plastic coverings degrade over time, requiring the material to be dug up and rewrapped at great cost and risk to the people exposed to the material. The Abcov technology was developed in the United States over several decades and has been successfully commercially applied in the US market for a number of years. The Abcov method has been used to abate asbestos in Madison Square Gardens, New York, several US Army, Navy and Air Force bases and the US Department of Energy. Other notable private sector clients include Walmart, Bloomingdale's and numerous US power companies. Over $400 million worth of asbestos abatement programs have already been completed using the Abcov method in the United States alone. Abcov Australia Limited has a license agreement with Abcov Conversions Systems LLC, a US-based company to utilize the Abcov method in Australia initially and 18 months later in approximately 95 other countries. The tiny fibres found in asbestos are known to contribute to a number of deadly diseases. Australia has the highest rate of asbestos-related cancer deaths in the world and the cost of dealing with people affected by asbestos is forecast to be $6 billion. The safe handling and destruction of asbestos in Australia alone is a significant commercial opportunity. There is approximately 40,000 tonnes of raw asbestos removed from buildings and buried each year. Since raw asbestos only makes up on average 15% of the dangerous material, management estimate the market for dealing with new asbestos waste in Australia to be $267 million per annum. There is an estimated $1.5 billion worth of work in abating all the asbestos that is stored in landfill sites in the country. The Australian and Northern Territory governments have also shown interest in utilising Abcov Australia Limited's Abcov technology to remove the asbestos from 59 Aboriginal communities in the Northern Territory. The company is also in negotiations with the South African government and over 50 Japanese companies who are interested in using the Abcov method. Assuming raw asbestos makes up approximately 15% of the total materials containing asbestos, the total tons containing asbestos in countries potentially covered by the license held by Abcov Australia Limited is over 620 million tons. 
The company expects to charge approximately $1,000 per tonne for the destruction services, which means the total potential available market is estimated to be $620 billion, distributed throughout Africa, Asia, the Middle East, Russia and Oceania. The Abkov plants can be set up in two configurations, including a mobile plant which can be moved from site to site and removes the need to transport toxic waste. These plants can process up to 10 tonnes of asbestos per day. A larger fixed plant can process up to 200 tonnes per day and would be located near asbestos landfill sites and act as a waste processing depot. The setup cost is only a small fraction of other larger plants using existing technologies which require significantly higher running costs. The process takes as little as 30 minutes from start to finish. No other asbestos abatement solution can lay claim to that delivery time. The directors of Abco Australia Limited aim to make the company one of Australia's leading and most successful green waste technology businesses. Joining founders Nigel and Wayne Lee is Graham Duff, the former chairman of John Holland Holdings. We cannot continue uh, to bury asbestos uh, products. We must have a solution. The Abkov method is an ideal solution, almost a perfect solution uh, to resolve uh, that problem that affects our society uh, today. Uh, our involvement will be with a variety of other corporations, uh, either by licence agreement or by joint venture, uh, or whatever method we can see that we can make the maximum impact upon the destruction of asbestos uh, over the shortest possible time that we can do it in. So this particular capital raising uh, through APCOV Australia is designed primarily to set this company up to give it the plant and equipment that is necessary to pursue uh, the market uh, and also to market this uh, to other corporations in Australia to ensure that we do get maximum penetration into the Australian market and as quickly as possible. Uh, I think it's a particularly good team uh, and I think it's one uh, that will uh, be successful. It really does, uh, to use the term, tick all the boxes.